This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now, as many viewers will know, I am something of a fan of the Telecaster. And, um, well, you can probably tell just by looking at the wall behind me. Uh, there's uh, one, two, uh, three, four on the wall behind me. There's another one over here. Um, now, just let, let's get something out of the way before we go any further, because I often get people taking me to task on this, uh, where they'll say, that's not a Telecaster, that's not a real Fender. Well, okay, I take your point. But in the UK, it's a UK thing, it's a British thing. For instance, this is, you know... It's a cheap disposable ballpoint pen. Um, don't know who it's made by, uh, but it's this kind of thing in the UK gets referred to as a biro. Whether it's made by biro, Bic, Pentel, whatever. Same with vacuum cleaners. A vacuum cleaner over here is called a Hoover. Whether it's made by Hoover or Hitachi or Dyson or Electrolux or whoever, it's we tend to use a well-known um, brand as a generic term for anything that is. Uh, similar to that brand and it's just you know it's just a thing we do so that's what i'm going to be talking about here um telecaster style guitars and i just refer to them as telecasters i am a fan of them and um i've done quite a few comparisons of late um i've compared these two guitars this is a fender nashville telecaster that was a gift from um, a student of mine called Joe and a guy who's become a good friend and he just basically bought me this guitar because he wanted me to have one. Uh, what an incredibly generous gesture. Thank you, Joe. I've said it many times and one more won't hurt, so thank you. Uh, I've compared uh, this Fender Nashville Telecaster to this uh, Faisley Outlaw Coyote Plus, which was also a gift. Um, I reviewed it for Faisley, they sent me it and the idea was that I was going to send it back but I got in contact with them and said um, you're not getting this one back, send me the bill and very generously they said no, it's okay, you can have it on us um, and I, th that happened after I'd done the review so you know, it wasn't uh, influenced, it didn't influence the review but great, great little guitar, I've, mo I've compared these two twice once before I modded this guitar, this now has Tone Rider pickups and uh, locking tuners on it um, and uh, then once again after I'd modified it so you know that's one telecaster well a couple of telecaster comparisons that I've done uh, in well in the last 12 months and I've also compared this pair here same uh, Nashville telecaster once again and this is um, an Ert something or other it's a Corsair it says so on the headstock there in very small letters um, an Ert Corsair uh, Telecaster style guitar, uh, which I bought for a friend of mine in the Netherlands. He's called Edwin, and um, you know he gave me a good price on this. These Ert guitars, if you've never tried one, uh, you, you really want to check them out. The necks on them are so addictive to play. Stainless steel frets, beautifully finished hemispherical fret ends. And once again, um, you can see I've modded this. Uh, it now sports a hot rails style humbucker in the bridge position and um you know because i like the tone rider so much it's got a tone rider um only core two blues uh in the neck position great great sounding uh pickups those tone riders but i wanted something that had a little bit more grunt in the bridge uh with this pickup so i've done uh that comparison but as yet i have never done a comparison between the two non-fender telecasters let's get the uh the light shining off that one there where is it there it is i've never done a comparison between the ert and the Faisley. the two budget off-brand telecasters how do they compare well let's find out
So there you have it. That's what they sound like in a mix. Um, just a little bit of housekeeping before we go any further. There is, as usual, a full tab for that piece of music in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats. Along with a clip of me playing it and a jam track for you to play along with yourself, all of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address and the link is in the description. $3 or £2.50 a month gets you access to all of these additional resources that go along with these YouTube videos. A massive, massive thank you to everybody who supports me in that or any of the other ways, all of which are linked down below in the description. Also, um, what I was using there in terms of guitar tones, um, the sort of crunchy power chordy sort of stuff was the Blue Guitar Amp 1 on the vintage channel very old school martially kind of tone and the sort of low gain lead sound as well that was um, that same setting there uh what was i using i think the um the clean sort of stuff like the clean chords in the verses uh was the clean channel on that amp and um then for the uh where are we the uh, the high again stuff in the solos that was again the vintage channel on the blue guitar amp one with the new x horseman pedal going into the front end of it and um you know what i like about that rig basically is that well as you could hear there was um a, a very distinct difference between both guitars um the Faisley that just sounded proper old school telecaster and that's um you know i mean the pickups that came with this guitar these are only about 150 pounds i think uh, the pickups that came with this guitar were good but the tone rider alnico 2 blues pickups are a, a definite upgrade to it as you can probably tell this video isn't a buyer's guide about which one of these uh, you should go out and, you know, because you're not hearing them in in, um, in their original condition. This is just me getting curious about uh, two guitars that I've got and have never really put kind of together in, in, in any way before. So, or if I have, I've forgotten, <laughs> which isn't beyond the realms of possibility, let's face it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, these Tone Rider pickups, um, they're probably my uh, favourite Telecaster pickups at the moment. They remind me very much of the um seymour duncan uh alnico pro 2s that i had in a light ash telecaster a few years ago or many years ago uh, about 12 years ago so that, that was a great guitar and this guitar with these pickups in it now reminds me of that i'm going to put links to the specs of both guitars uh rather links to the reviews of both guitars uh because i've changed the specs because i've modified them um i'll put the, the original review links down in the uh, in the description and then you can see kind of neck profiles and and all that sort of stuff so this guitar very much old school telecaster um you know does that kind of classic kind of um you know kind of hooligan grunt <laughs> that i always think of for a telecaster sound and it does it fantastically well especially with these pickups in whereas this guitar this ert this is you know um when you want something that just kind of cooks a little bit more when you want something especially because i've got this this blade humbucker in the back end of it now fantastic value these by the way Artec. you can get them on amazon and they're about 20 quid you know ridiculously cheap and um alnico 5 and a really good i don't know about you but i i still kind of i could when i was listening to this in the mix it still sounded identifiably telecastery it didn't sound you know like just a generic kind of bridge humbucker sound it still had that kind of telecaster clank to it do you know what i mean that sort of uh, that kind of um that pleasingly trebly kind of um ice pick kind of sound to it um you know and, and the, the neck pickup on this i think out of the two guitars i pre even though it's the same pickup this is an alnico blues 2 um uh tone rider in, in the neck position on this guitar and on the Faisley. but i for some reason don't know what it is i prefer the sound of the neck pickup on this guitar i think it just had just a degree more smoothness to it to my ears um this is very much the guitar i pick up when i want something that is identifiably telecaster sounding but has just that little bit more of a push 
um, you know, and as I say, these Ert guitars, the necks on them are absolutely addictive to play. You've, you've, if you've never played one, but you've seen all the videos pe where people are kind of raving about the necks, it isn't hype. They are really that good. I'm not getting paid by Ert or any company like that. I bought this guitar with my own money and, um, you know, it's a, it's a fantastic beast. So there you go. That's just getting it out of my system. That's getting the, uh, the comparison between the two... Um, off-brand Telecasters, the uh, the Ert and the Faisley out of my system. Hadn't done it up to now, and I thought, uh, well, here's an opportunity to uh, to do that. Let me know in the comments which you preferred, which which one you thought came out sounding best, and um, you know, or neither of them, because in, in, inevitably, whenever I do a video about Telecasters, there's always somebody who reads that it's a video about Telecasters, doesn't like Telecasters, but clicks on the link anyway, so they can tell me that they don't like Telecasters. It's a funny old world, isn't it? But that is very much the video for today, folks. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and found it useful and informative and educational and hopefully entertaining in some small way. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not drop me a like as well while you're at it. Don't forget the live stream every Friday, 5pm UK time, where we drink beer and talk about many, many, many things, mostly uh, concerning music and guitars, but all topics can, can and usually do crop up. It's a great way to kick off the weekend, and I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now. Yeah.